channel, the Morningstar TV, and it's me, Jay Morningstar. Now, wait, stop a minute, press the post, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notifications so that you're gonna stand and train and you got the updated videos. Now, I'm here at Qingdao University of Technology, and as you see here, ta -da! that's the main entrance, the main entrance gate. Now, if you have a car, then you can just drive in and uh, the barrier or it will the system the system will read the uh, your license plate and the barrier arms goes up but if you don't have a car uh, then you need your teacher's ID or your student's ID uh, come on please You're gonna swipe your card and then you can yeah. enter. All right, guys. So, as I told you before, uh, if you have a car, that's all right. But if you don't have, see, this is the entrance. And if you want to get to the main campus area, let's call it metropolitan area of the QT, uh, well, on walk, it's gonna cost you 25 minutes of your time. But here is the good news for you you have two options. Option A, you can get a bus. As you see, here is the bus stop. Well, it's gonna take you um, 10 minutes, I think. Or option B, the option that I'm gonna choose today is renting a scooters. That's right, guys. We have scooters that you can rent uh, in the campus. Please, I'm gonna show you. So how you rent a scooter? You're gonna scan the QR code and it's, uh, it's gonna cost you um, for easy math. Let's say uh, 15 cents per 15 uh, minutes, and after uh, 15 minutes, uh, 14 cents per each minute. All right, guys, let's hit the Okay, rest. guys, now as I told, um, here's the QR code you need to scan the QR code. I already scanned it, and now here we go. Uh, I'm gonna, oh, that's my coffee. Let's take it. So I'm gonna ride it till the main campus area I'm gonna show you around I'm gonna show you the library um, the teaching buildings and etc all right I think that's time to move okay and here we are at the first stop the first thing that welcomes you are the building groups that we see the buildings were built for the teachers and the university staff however almighty capitalism the apartments are not for free. However, there is a preferential treatment for the university staff is a discount up to 10%. Okay guys, and check the panoramic view. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, Ducky, I'm gonna take you inside the community to see what we have there. Let's check that out. Guys, you can't imagine how big is the community is. It took me 10 minutes to look around. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna show you the plan of the community. I think it's the plan of the community. Yeah, community plan. Here we go. I said, this is the community plan.
Alrighty, it's get boring I think. Let's move to the next part. And the healthy way of life. For the healthy way of life lovers, we do have sport facilities. Two soccer fields and plenty of basketball courts. And plus, the open air workout space. And voila, the soccer field. I already can imagine how you guys are eager to play the soccer here. Okay, now let's turn on the background sound and see what's going on around here. Okay guys, that's the sports building and they have a swimming pool and here are the girls, they are dancing. That's the PE class. I'm, I'm not gonna disturb them. No, the building is pretty big, as you see. That's the Qingdao University of Technology logo, the spirit of QT, guys. And that's the university's motto. That's in and that's in Chinese, and I'm not gonna translate it for you right now. See, that's a that's a PE teacher. Oh, by the way, as you mentioned, no one is wearing a mask. And that's because China nowadays is one of the safest countries, if not the most safest one, if we talk about COVID-19, as it is indeed, so as me myself is not wearing a mask, and neither do others. The reason covers in that 99% of locals and the students were vaccinated. And plus, check my another video about COVAX in QUT. And I even dare to say that um, the herd immunity is already formed here. So guys, welcome to China, the COVID-19 free country. And the girls there, they are practicing Tai Chi. So Tai Chi or shadow boxing is an internal Chinese martial art practice well it's practice for defense and for um uh, health benefits and meditations i myself do practice it sometimes it's a really very good way to get rid of stress hey guys hello hello hi guys i'm sorry for disturbing you hi 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 hi, hi. hi. how's it going oh it was good all right, so what are you doing here? Tell me, tell me about yourself. Uh, I have a uh, school of information and uh, control engineering. Uh huh. Uh, we if... start here for uh, emotional tennis ball. Oh, it's yeah, I see that that's a badminton actually. Yeah, and uh, like for how long have you been studying in the uh, University of Technology? Fresh new students. Oh, you're so you're freshman here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, freshman. that's right, that's right. So, what's your name, buddy? Uh, my name is uh, Michael. Michael. Oh, that's great, Michael. Thank you very much. Uh, All right. Thanks, thanks. All right. Catch you later. Nice Bye. Nice to meet you. Well, that was amazing. Talking with the guys, with Michael, and here we go. The soccer field. Oh, by the way, it's open 24-7, if no, 7-Eleven for all the students and it's total free. Hey guys, hello. Are you playing soccer here? Hi. Hey guys, so what are you doing here? We are watching football. Football, right. Do you like soccer? Football? Uh, yeah, yes, 
all right that's right guys okay guys so as you see like like football or soccer right it depends like which one you prefer it's up to you now let's let's watch the match all right guys by the way what's your name what's your name my name is xu chu yu xu chu yu okay xu chu yu do you have english name yes I. <laughs> do, uh, do you have English name? Uh, no, no, no. No? Alright, who has English name here? I, I, don't, I don't have that. You don't have English name? Alright. Okay, Xu Chu Yu, right? Uh, okay, yes. what's your name? My name is Money. Money? Wow, that's great. Money. You got it, guys. Alright, what about you? Kung Yaya. Kung Yaya. Alright, Kung Yaya. Is it hard to pronounce for you? John? Zhang Yihan, all right. Okay, right, guys, my name is Jay, all right? Jay Morningstar. In Chinese name is Jinbao. Jinbao. Yes, that's right. No, I, I just told them my Chinese name, Jinbao. All right, guys, let's see the road. I'm gonna show you other places. Here. And the next spot is the basketball court. Guys, as you see, there are plenty of basketball courts here and they are totally free for the QUT's students. Uh, you won't get charged for it. You can play whenever you want, after lunch, before lunch, after classes, before classes. And also directly near the basketball court, there is a open air workout space. Uh, you can do your morning exercise there because most of students they try to keep the health way of life uh, You can do here your morning exercise All right, guys, as you see, now we are here at the library. That's a library building. It's written in Chinese, though, uh, for the guys that who can understand and who can speak in Chinese. I'm going to read it for you. It means the library. And as you see, the construction works, they are still going. And that part over there going to be an open air space where you can read uh, bestseller that you've just purchased online or bought at the bookstore or uh, you can do your assignment your university assignment or just have a good time with your buddies now let's move on and see what we've got inside the uh, library however guys I would like to mention that one more time the construction works they are still going actually they've supposed to finish last year but due to COVID-19 the works were temporarily stopped okay guys now we are inside of the library It's empty though. See, they're still decorating it, still under construction. But I think that when it's completed, this this place is gonna be awesome. This part's gonna be open reading space. Uh, 
uh, not reading room, uh, but a reading space. And guys, guess what? Da da! Here we have a huge screen. I don't know why the huge screen is right in the middle of the library, but I do believe that Chinese will find the way to use it. After several months, all these places are gonna be full of students, books, and electronic libraries. Now it's empty and it's, it's so silent here that I wanna that I don't want to talk loud. Oh my gosh, too much silence! Like the time is frozen here. Well, you know, that's okay. That's okay, actually, because um, uh, it's gonna be open for students, I guess, after two or three months. So the next year, the next study year, uh, during September, students, they can use the library. The elevator is the elevator is functioning. Let's see how many floors the library has. Okay, guys, here we are on the eighth floor. Check the panoramic view. That's awesome. You see the woods over there? Actually, that's the park and it's the part of the campus. Now we are moving to the School of Civil Engineering. This is the building of the School of Civil Engineering. As you see, it's written there, Tumu Gongcheng Xue Yuan, which means the School of Civil Engineering. This one is the uh, office building for the teachers and uh, the lessons uh, they are in the t teaching building. This one is supposed uh, to, uh, to be the office place for the teachers and no lessons are provided here. I love civil engineering. Campus life in QUT is another topic that I believe deserves and should be highlighted with a separate video for it. In my humble opinion, the facilities here meet all your needs. Need a haircut? Here we go. Hair salon. There are four hair salons in the campus. And the green grocery and actually that's also bakery. You can buy cheesecakes there, sandwiches, sushi and fruit to mix. You mix fruits with yogurt. It's 10 yuan per pound, if I'm mistaken. And also, here we go, the fruits. Plus guys, I'm gonna show you a fruit, it's called the dragon fruit, it's a 6 yuan per one and I believe that most of foreign western guys, they've never tried the dragon fruit before. Plus pay attention to the refrigerator, as you see there are slices of watermelon, that's right because in China if you don't want to buy a whole watermelon, you can just buy a slice of watermelon and that's okay. And plus a drugstore. And the drugstores. We have four to five drugstores in the campus. And mailing services. Tanyao Yijan mailing services. And uh, it's a Jindun Express, Xiongfen Express, which is the fastest express service in China, but it's gonna cost you your money. And also China Post, of course. 
and printing shops like they're fast print and plus mobile stores where you can get a sim card china has three main operators china mobile china unicom and china telecom mine is china unicom as i find it better faster cheaper and of course the printing shops um guys check this one this is a yellow stuff here is a printer you scan the qr code and it prints out the document for a year and convenience stores uh, like the Century, that's a local brand, or 7-Eleven, the worldwide famous brand. And plus, guys, uh, well, first of all, the 7-Eleven, I love this brand, and I usually get my coffee there. It's American of 6 and so it's just 90 cents. But the most interesting part about my video about the campus life is that the campus even has mini stuff. Yes, there is a Miniso in the campus and the prices vary from $1 to $6. Let's check the items that we have in the Miniso. Alright guys, it's time to have lunch and uh, today I'm gonna eat at uh, He Yuan Dining Hall. Actually, there are three dining halls uh, in the campus, He Yuan Dining Hall uh, and uh, Hui Yuan Dining Hall. And the last one is uh, Xiang Yuan Dining Hall. Uh, I chose He Yuan Dining Hall today. Let's see what we have there. All right, guys, now pay attention to that yellow box over there. That's a power bank. If your phone is flat, you scan the QR code and it gives you the power bank. You rent it. Uh, the first uh, 30 minutes are for free and then you're going to be charged uh, for minute uh, 1 yuan, if I'm not mistaken. However, I've never used one before because uh, I got a power bank on Taobao. That's a... Uh, B2C shopping platforms. This uh, is like the Amazon.com.
see this is hot pot, Chinese hot pot. And let's interview the girls. What do they think about the about the canteen? About the canteen. Hi there. Hi. Hello. And uh, hi there. Hello. Hi there. Hi. I'm gonna interview her. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. What's your name? Uh, Andrew, uh, Maria. Maria. Oh, that's great. Okay, Maria. I'm Jay. I'm Jay, and uh, I'm uh, representative of the International Department of Harvard University. I'm gonna ask you uh, several questions about our canteen. So, what do you think about the canteen? Tell me more. Tell me more about the canteen. Do you think that the food is here? Is, is it cheap? Is it clean? Come on. What's your opinion on this? I think that uh, it's delicious. It's a little bit expensive for me. It's a little bit expensive for you, okay. This content has a menu, which is for different countries. Oh, all right, okay, I got it. So, for example, how much uh, did you spend today? Uh, like, how much did it cost? About 10 yuan. About 10 yuan? Uh, all of this? Uh, no. no? Uh, Ah, uh, you chose the favorite ones. Okay, guys, so see that only costs 10 yuan. However, Maria thinks that it's pretty expensive. But Maria, if we will have it here, or let's say you will gonna have it outside, outdoors, like outside the campus, what do you think? Is it gonna be expensive outside? For example, in the restaurant? Or is this gonna be expensive here in the campus? There's what I'm sorry? Uh, the, uh, the same for me. Uh, ah, the same for you. Okay. Because All right, guys. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. Because this uh, delicious thing is here. Uh, the little expensive like uh, uh, beside the uh, campus. Uh, outside the, uh, outside the campus. All right. So as you see, guys, um, the problem that Mar Maria thinks that uh, actually the prices are the same. She spent here 10 yuan and she had hot pot and uh, she she believes that is the same outside. However, I'm not agree with her, so let's agree to disagree. All right. Thank you, Maria. What about the girl? You're together. Go go. So she's your friend. Yes. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna. She's my best friend. Oh, she's your best. Oh, so you are besties. Okay. Yes. Great. Okay. So. Thank you. Sure. So go go. Right. Go go. Tell me about yourself. Let's take a seat here. So, right. Tell me about yourself. Your Chinese name is Guo Guo, but I understand that it's your nickname. What's your English name? Margaret. Margaret. Oh, it's, uh, her name is Margaret. Like the. Margaret Thatcher, Prime Minister of the UK. All right, so tell me, Margaret, um, what do you think about the canteen? Is food clean here? Yeah. Yes, and uh, is it expensive or cheap? Cheap, it's cheap. It's cheap, all right. So, Maria, Margaret, she thinks that it's cheap here, by the way. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Mary, um, how much did you spend today? Twenty. Twenty yen. Oh, twenty yen. All right. So, what did you what did you have? Can you name this this food in English? Eggs. All right. Eggs. And what else? Did you have any meat? Um, pagan. Okay. Bacon. Oh yeah, so bacon in Chinese actually is pagan. All right, okay, and I think that yes, the, because of the meat, actually it costed twenty, it costs twenty yuan. But I don't find it actually expensive because if you're going to have it outdoors, it's gonna cost you like uh, seven to to eight yuan. And besides, a hot pot is expensive than the other uh, than the uh, other meals that you can purchase over there. All right, okay guys, that was all for the canteen scene. Maria, Margaret, thank you very much girls and have a nice day.
Okay, okay, guys, um, that's all for today. I suppose I tried to put different aspects of campus life in this video, but however, if you want to know more about one specific aspect of campus life, for example, about the classrooms, uh, about the accommodation, uh, um, the dormitory, uh, please uh, leave the comments below this video and I'll try to satisfy it. Okay, okay guys, that was all for today and if you have not subscribed yet, remember to subscribe to my channel. That was Jay Monastar, signing off.